Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel and for those that love little stories well I'll have a, a series that I will have about shortwave uh, little stories about shortwave from my years of shortwave listening part of these stories of course have to do with QSL cards and uh, stories behind them um, I'm surprised that a lot of people have been uh, reaching to me and saying that they love watching my QSL series and they love watching them and having the stories behind the cards and stories behind you know what's happening uh, my QSL series focused on I believe four cards at a time something like that um, here we're gonna focus on individual cards that have something to say so this is um, Radio Austria uh, QSL card this is the first QSL card I've got for Radio Austria Almost every broadcaster, when you QSL um, and you get more than one QSL from the same station, usually you yeah, kind of remember the first one because uh, it's you know the first time that you get something from them and from a country sometimes. So Radio Austria, this was the first ever QSL card. And there's something funny about this because um, I remember very, very well the QSL card when it arrived. So this is the front with uh, apparently this is the um, Mosbrun shortwave transmitter site. So it's a nice view here and we see the uh, antennas um, that are on the field. And uh, this is the back of the card. And so I was living with my parents back then. And um, so this is a report apparently from uh, May 16th, 1983. Now, I find can kind of a little weird the, the frequency and time that is there. I'm not sure that the time is correct, but because uh, 5945 was an evening frequency, I believe. So, anyways, you know, it's a QSL card about uh, verification of a re receiving Radio Austria back then. So, the tear in the middle is because I had a bright idea back then. I had put the cards in the, on the wall with tape. And of course, one day I noticed that uh, maybe it wasn't a good idea to have the cards on the wall in the way that I did it. So I tried to remove the tape slowly. But of course, it uh, it teared the card on the back a little bit. So uh, basically, and uh, I believe that's a little three that I added uh, with a pen because I wanted to make sure that <laughs> the three was there. So um, May 16, 1983 is the re reception report that I sent back then to uh, Radio Austria and what's f interesting about this and, and probably amazing what amazed me the most so you see the antennas here and when I got this card I got a really big envelope and it's very difficult to forget the envelope because it was bright orange envelope a really bright orange envelope and um, so I got home from school and of course my mom would go and get the mail so Basically, what happened is uh, the mail was, you know, I had a Commodore computer, so the mail, my mom would put the mail on my Commodore computer. And I had this big, bright orange envelope, and I was like, what's that? And I opened it, and of course, it was Radio Austria. So there was this QSL card, but I remember they had uh, put pamphlets, big, um, like more like, um, you know, um, information sheets about their technical details of their antennas and they were uh, all put together stapled like a bunch of um, of, of um, you know paper uh, stapled together and it was pretty thick there's a lot of information technical details of of their antennas and the rotations of the antennas and the target areas and the power used and it was very technical, but it was at the same time very exciting. It was like, wow, this is so cool. All the technical detail of Radio Austria transmitters. So um, I remember that big uh, envelope. And there was in there a letter also. Um, it's, it's sad because there's a lot of that stuff that I've lost over time, unfortunately. Um, and I remember there was a letter saying thank you very much for you know listening to Radio Austria. Hope that you enjoy our programs and continue uh, and continue um, writing in. And of course, Radio Austria was one of those stations I wrote 
a lot of times to get QSLs and to let them know I was listening in. Actually, back then, I was more of a QSL hog. I was more like, give me, give me, and uh, I'm listening to you and give me my card, <laughs> um, which is not the best way to, to QSL. But um, there was a, a lot of stuff in there, and I was so surprised. And, and, and I, I still have in my head the big... Uh, the picture of, you know, it's I hope one day they can invent something that you can, you know, like plug your brain in and have that picture downloaded to your PC of that big bright orange envelope on my Commodore computer uh, with Radio Austria on on the uh, envelope. So um, first QSL with a little story behind it of all the technical stuff. And I still remember like it was yesterday when I got this uh this letter. I got this. I was um, home from school for uh, dinner. And uh, I remember the first thing that I would do back then was like, look at the Commodore computer, because I knew that if I had some mail, it was there. And uh, can remember fondly of this big, bright envelope uh, that was uh, with all the technical detail. Kind of cool. Um, kind of cool when you think about it. And um, I always thought that this was one of the a very beautiful card. And there's something about the first card you get from a station. I think that for some reason that card you cherish more than any other card you'll get afterwards. So uh, first time I had received mail from Austria back in 1983. So more stories like this coming up in the next uh, you know days and weeks. Hope that you enjoy them. And uh, hope that they kind of you know maybe give you the this the the energy the spirit of qsling writing a station and and getting some mail which is always cool if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching